Today I'm going to go over two of the educational standards when it comes to technology. The two standards that I'm going to cover and introduce today are ISTE and SAMR. The first standard that I'm going to cover with you is ISTE. ISTE stands for the International Society for Technology and Education. It has standards for both students and teachers, and it supports students and educators with clear guidelines on what skills are needed to transform how you teach and learn. Now let's go over the specific standards when it comes to ISTE. We'll start with the student standards. The first student standard is creativity and innovation. Students should be able to use prior knowledge to create new projects and ideas using their creativity and imagination. The next standard is communication and collaboration. With this standard, students should be able to interact and collaborate with their peers on group work using various media such as Google Docs, Prezi, and more. The third student standard is research and information fluency. Students should be able to process and interpret data for reports and projects. The last standard is critical thinking, problem solving, and decision making. This will have students using critical thinking skills to solve real world problems in the classroom and use multiple processes and diverse ways of thinking to solve that problem. Now, let's move on to the teacher standards. The first teacher standard is to facilitate and inspire student learning and creativity. You'll encourage and model creative thought processes and out-of-the-box thinking in your classroom. The second teacher standard is to design and develop digital age learning experiences and assessments. You will create meaningful lessons and assessments using digital tools that promote creativity. The last teacher standard is to model digital age work and learning. To lead by example for your students in your class, you should be fluent with technology systems and use these systems as a way to interact with your students, parents, and your community. Now we're going to look at the second technology standard when it comes to education, which is SAMR. But first, to understand the standards a little better, let's take a look at something many of us can understand, which is a cup of coffee. When we look at SAMR through this lens, we are comparing Starbucks coffee to technology in a lesson plan or project that we are preparing. The first step of SAMR is substitution. So by looking at this from the coffee metaphor, let's say that we're switching from our cup of coffee at home to a cup at Starbucks. It's virtually the same and it doesn't change the product. It's still a cup of coffee, we just changed where it's made. The next step is augmentation. This would be the equivalent of switching from a cup of coffee at home to an iced coffee at Starbucks. Although cream and sugar have been added to alter the taste of the coffee and we have added a straw, it's still the same product, just with some slight variations. Now, we look at modification. With modification, we are going from a cup of coffee at home to an iced caramel macchiato. The drink has been modified and is now made with espresso instead of coffee and contains syrups and flavors only available at Starbucks. To recreate it at home would be possible, but it would be much easier to have it made at Starbucks. The last step we're going to look at is redefinition. We go from a plain cup of coffee at home to a pumpkin spice latte. In this drink, the coffee has been completely redefined. Only Starbucks can make it this way. They've even trademarked the recipe to make it. It's something you can't recreate at home and something you can't get anywhere else. Now let's apply this to a geography project. Let's say you want your students to create a poster board about a selected country. You want them to cut out pictures from a magazine like National Geographic and paste them on the board for visuals. Now let's redo this lesson under substitution. To use substitution on this assignment, you could sub in using the poster board and instead use PowerPoint or Prezi using the same information. To augment the lesson, you can have them add audio files, videos, and more to enhance the project. However, the assignment essentially is the same, it's just been improved by the use of sources that technology allows. In order to modify the lesson, you could have them create an online brochure on Google Docs using those video and audio clips and have classmates provide live feedback. Lastly, you can completely redefine the lesson. There's so many ways you could connect with the region using technology such as look at the area on Google Maps, 
find online interviews with locals, or even schedule an online Skype call with another school from that country. Both of these standards are important in order to give purpose and objectives to using technology in the classroom. They provide guidelines to use these tools and resources effectively in a way that redefines learning, instead of just substituting paper for a laptop.